what is going on guys so in this video i'll be showing you guys i'll be installing these mirror caps i opened it i'm about to show you guys faster my mirror caps don't have these leds it looks different in my opinion it looks better this is the driver's side you guys see the difference found these on ebay leave a link in the description i'm gonna wrap it probably carbon fiber see how that goes out because i'll see my wrapping or painting it black i'll be showing you guys how i'm gonna wire them because they gave me a lot of cables and some connection i think these are relays there's two as i'm guessing they connect like that all right guys so i got everything out of this box comes with little instructions not much Bruh. this is the mirror cap comes with the harness or a quick con disconnect and connect and I'm guessing this is a relay. They have everything labeled already. So ground, indicator, ACC, I'm guessing that's like the positive. They're all marked guys. So near cover A, so these two go together. I will have to test splice on each of my cables on my truck to find the power source for the indicator. Um, they come with extra cables. All right guys, so I just did a little test run on how it works three labeled everything's labeled guys so to get confused so i'm connected to my milwaukee battery here and you can see how it lights up honestly it's not that bright than i thought in the daytime but i'm pretty sure at night it would be really bright so i'm debating on leaving it on all the time when it's nighttime for example like day running lights leave it on my day running lights that's what i might do guys i just gotta figure out where to tap these cables in my harness for my window switch and we'll see from there i'm just gonna pull out my trick a little forward and so i can work much better You have trimming tools to take out trim use that or, and don't do what i'm doing i'll be using a knife to take out the door panels and just like that it comes out just be careful for the z71 interior or the work truck interior they have four bolts we have three so one two three i did have that interior just that i sold it I was gonna make a video about it, but I didn't have time. And I had thought about it last minute. You pop this trim panel, you lift it up. Surprisingly, this harness is my original truck's harness and everything lined up. Before I took off the door panel, I was playing around with the wiring. So, so I disconnected the black and white. These are the mirror harnesses. So I was lucky to have a good mirror or a mirror I don't use anymore that's broken. I'm experimenting with that one. The same mirror, just this one's off uh, Tahoe. It's an older one, but they're the same. They're the same harness. They have the same harness. So this is the harness, white and black. And this is my harness from the Cadillac one, black and white. So they're, they're the same harnesses, just that I'm splicing into them, seeing which one is which. All right, guys. So I'll try to break it down for you guys for the wiring part. It was kind of hard. I was struggling myself trying to do it. I was playing around with the control. So this basically, this is my switch. So what I tried doing was grabbing power from the interior switch so basically when i turn the light on all the interior lights light up so instead of me trying to wire the day running lights all the way around underneath the dash to the fuse box to the drl light i'm doing a little shortcut you guys could do it that way it doesn't matter but i found a way made it easier for myself so as you guys can see since i turned on the interior lights or since i turned on the lights that turns on so when i turn it off one thing that i noticed is that that stays on but it cuts off after like a minute 
and there was times where it would stay on all the time and i was confused i'm like how if the if it the interior lights are off that should turn off but i found the right wires because everything's off on the truck right now i turn off the lights everything so it should turn off as long as it doesn't stay on that's what i care you see how i just turned off guys that's good because say i'm turning on my truck from the gym you see you guys unlock the truck it lights up if i like the truck it stays on but it'll turn off after a minute it won't stay on all the time i was getting frustrated trying to figure out where i could find that power where it just turns off there was times where like i wired it it would stay on like this but it wouldn't even turn off at all guys. i found a cable that i spliced into and that turns off after a minute with just with that you do it the way i'm doing it if not you can always run it's this cable it's the ground guys so basically i got the ground off the heated seats guys you see how like even when i press the button messes it with it for the single cab the work truck one i'm not too sure about yours you would have to probably wire the white cable all the way tuck it in all the way to the firewall and you would have to put it with the fuse where the day running lights are at that's your only option because i know for a fact i don't have heated seats i don't either when i bought these door panels this uh switch came out its own harness coming out from inside and then um it plugged right in and i was surprised my truck doesn't have heated seats but it, it has its own button and supports which was weird like it belonged there but it didn't this truck does not have heated seats they're just leather seats and i was surprised when these lit up so basically i spliced it into with my heated seats even though i don't have heated seats you guys can do probably the same thing hooked it up there is because this lights up at night so that means if this lights up at night this cap should light up as well so i tried messing uh i started splicing a lot of cables trying to figure out which cable was which I'm sure you could do the same with this one see how that button lights up guys i'm pretty sure that's this brown harness right here if you splice into each and one of these cable and try to find the power source you should be able to do it so guys uh, enough talking let me uh take out the door panel Once you take off the door panel or got it loose, take um, this out. These are the same bolt size, 10 millimeters. Once you, once you loosen all three bolts, it should come right out. Oh yeah, before you take it off, the cable is white and uh, black. Pull it up. Just pull it out. I'm clipping it with my hand. That's because I don't want to pry it with a screwdriver or plastic. Cause I might end up breaking a clip, so I'm doing it like this with my hand. Push it down. So right now I'm trying to fish the wire from the cap through uh where all the cables are going through. So you're supposed to fish it through there. You see, I see that where that string is at. It's hugging that black connector. That's the that's the connector for this. So basically, I tuck the red and black cable all the way in where it reaches. But it's a 90 degree turn right there. So I got a string, and I'm about to pull it this way. So I got it out. Just be prepared for the mess because I didn't expect all this whatever this is. But I got the connector out, guys. You see how I got it out with that string and this this Phillips screwdriver. So once I pull it out, you should be all set to go, guys. Just make sure you flip it around and put the cap on. Right, guys, once you got the wire all through, everything clips in as it should. Um, all right, guys, and just like that, we got it all in one piece. Once you mount them, make sure you fish in the cables as well, bolting them down. After that, you guys put the insulation back as well so the wire doesn't go through. And from there, we start wiring from the inside. I like how they made a, a quick release or a quick disconnect from right here because this is where all the wiring is going to be at. You okay, guys see that? So, for example, if I ever want to take off the mirror, I don't got to unwrap the splicing I did. All I have to do is just connect and disconnect from right here. Because I am going to have it wrapped or painted. I think the positive with this one is not enough. I don't know if you guys see that. It's like it's pulling on it. Yeah, I'm going to extend it. I know the other one. Oh, and the indicator. Yeah, so the ground and the indicator are the both are the black ones. I'm extending both for a foot. The extra they gave us comes in handy, guys. 
All right, guys, so I spliced them all together. You can heat shrink them, whatever method you want. So after you do that, tuck it back in. Put electric tape to hold the harness. All right, guys, it's getting late because I ran into a problem. Uh, my, my mirrors weren't lighting up. So I had to redo everything or I had to figure out best way. So this is the turn signal. I got that. I got the indicator all spliced together. And over here, the day railing lights, I got it connected to this the same thing the same one so the white one was connected with this um light bluish and the negative or the ground which is this one since there's three cables so there's the ground there's the day running lights and also this is the turn signal so the ground i connected it to the main harness so this is the main harness it's the first one that's noticeable guys it's the biggest one and once i did that everything started working normally all right guys so this is the final result you guys can see like nothing was there test it for you guys so when i unlock it i got everything bolted on all right guys so for this side you do the same exact thing you did on the other side take out the door panels all the screws unbolt the mirror and then start prying it open just like i did on the other side basically everything the same thing just the wiring is different all right guys so i just got the mirror all together now just tuck everything back in how it was and then put the mirror back and then from there we start wiring so works just like the other side does i'll be showing you guys where i tapped into so you guys have an idea where you guys can do it it's you guys are probably not gonna do it the same exact where i tapped it in probably similar but not exactly the same because you do have to play around with it because this side was a little different from that side if you play around with it, you should, you should get an idea. All right, guys, I'm gonna show you guys how I wired it. I don't know if you guys see that this harness, the head of the harness is bigger than all of them. And I got the ground off of that because you see how thick these cables are compared to these ones. The running lights, I got the power off this um, dark blue. Those are the running lights. It's basically this. Yours is gonna be similar to this, not exactly the same. You could probably wire it to one of these, but I'm not gonna touch that one. I just touched the harness I don't need because I don't have these seats. And the turn signal, I tapped it in with the baby blue with the white stripe. That's the turn signal. That's what makes it turn off and on with the signal. And that's about it, guys. Um, I'm just showing you guys how I did it. Start tucking everything away. First, I'm gonna electric tape, heat shrink, whatever you guys wanna do, whatever method, doesn't matter. And from there, I should be set. Take it easy.